welcome to study with Sudhir. This is your favorite quality digital classroom. My name is T.S. Sudhir. I hope all of you are doing well and keeping safe. Now in 2012, I authored this particular book, an inspirational biography of badminton champion Saina Nehwal. In fact, this was released just two to three weeks before the London Olympics, before Saina went on to become the first Indian badminton player to win an Olympic medal. She won the bronze, if you recall, in London. And the last line, the line with which I concluded this book was quite interesting. It said, they thought that the Indian flag is going high and the medal is coming. And I remember my dear friend Pulela Gopichan, the national badminton coach, telling me at the airport in Hyderabad that Sudhir, you predicted the future. You were prophetic. Your words were prophetic. Nine years later, in 2021, I'm once again doing something for the future, the future of all the ICSC students. These are two books that have been brought out by Educat, English Paper 1 and Paper 2, Language and Literature for ICSC Class 10 students. And this is the History, Civics and Geography book. Okay, this is a set of 20 sample papers in each of the two books, which I have had the privilege of writing along with a brilliant team of authors from Educard. It's been a teamwork and it wouldn't have been possible but for the hard work put in by the team at Educard. So my special thanks to all of them. So English 1 and 2, History Civics is the one which I have authored, not Geography. Let me clarify and put it on record. So it's definitely not an individual effort. It's a joint effort from the entire team at Educard, which is a remarkable publishing house. I call it a publishing machine. Okay, uh, I can tell you that it has been a challenge. It's been a challenge because the syllabus is so limited that to actually come up with so many different varieties of questions which can test the students ahead of their board examinations in November, December, that is a challenge. And also because of the limited time that was available to us and given the fact that the ICSC council was constantly revising its question papers. In fact, the question papers that you would find in these books are the latest question papers which have been put on the website by the ICSC council. Okay, so in that sense, it gives you a sense of the exact pattern and format of the question paper that you will get in November, December 2021. Uh, the response has been fantastic so far. The initial copies that were released into the market, my publisher told me that in the ICSC category, these books, these books which include English 1 and 2, History, Civics, Geography, Mathematics and Science, Physics, Chemistry, Biology together, these books are ranked number one on Amazon right now, number one in the ICSC category, right? Uh, in the All India ranking of books, and this is more significant and listen to this carefully, it's a very proud moment for Educat. In the All India Ranking of Books, which includes fiction, non-fiction, educational, all kinds of books, this set is ranking at number 14, which is a big deal. And the books are selling like hotcakes. Uh, the publishers have had to reprint many times over in order to meet the demand. So that's a position and figures don't lie. This is what it is there on the Amazon site. Okay. But the more important part is, let me be very honest, let, uh, the more important part is whether you should buy this book at all and why you should buy this book. Okay, uh, so let's first look at what exactly these books contain. Now this book for English paper 1 and 2, as I said, contains 20 papers, 10 each. Seven of them are solved papers, which includes the ICSC specimen paper and three of them are unsolved papers for you to test yourself closer to the examinations, right? After you have finished all your revision and you are satisfied with the quality of your revision. Okay, so this is as far as the English paper is concerned. The same goes for history, civics and geography, 10 papers for history, civics, which I have been a part of and also 10 papers for geography. Okay, uh, this again contain the same thing of 7 and 3. Now, uh, as I said, there are also books on maths and science, which you could definitely look at. You can buy them individually or you can buy them as an entire set, in which case you obviously uh, also save on a lot of money. Now, uh, why these books tell you uh, 
you know how exactly to prepare and how exactly to test yourself is actually very important because one of the aspects that has been highlighted in this book specifically is that of time management and that according to me is key time management out here now most students make the mistake of assuming that MCQs means jaldi jaldi tick kar do, jaldi se khatam kar do, ek ghande ka paper 25 minute mein khatam kar do. In that case, I can only tell you that you are wasting your 35 minutes, precious minutes. So time management actually tells you how much time you should devote to each question in order to ensure that you don't even go wrong with a single mark out of 40 as far as ICSE class 10 papers are concerned. So please do have a look at the time management table that has been given in each one of these books. Point number two which is also important for you and this applies to all subjects not just English language literature or history civics. In fact literature it's specifically important it would be specifically important for subjects like physics and biology. It will tell you how many marks questions will come from each chapter and that makes it very important because then you can plan accordingly. Of course, the entire reduced syllabus, you need to study everything. But you know, okay, from this chapter, this many marks questions will come. So I need to pay extra attention to this particular chapter or this particular concept. So that gives you a better idea on how to prepare yourself. Okay, uh, one common question asked about all these books uh, is uh, whether there are questions which are asked out of syllabus out here. Okay, whether there are questions which are out of syllabus out here. Now all I would say is that in subjects like say history civics if you are given something like say Jalnya Wala Baag now there would be two kinds of questions one would be what has been taken directly from the book page number 49 and the same thing is asked in the examination right. There could be something else which could may have been explained to you by the teacher in class which may not be there in the textbook that you follow okay. There are a few questions which you may think are out of syllabus, which may not be there in your textbook, but they are not out of syllabus. Now, Jalyawala Bagh is a thing which many things can be asked about Jalyawala Bagh. You would agree, right? It may not be in your book and history. Papers in the past by the council have shown a tendency to ask at least one question, which is not strictly in the textbook. Okay, so we have included a few questions like that. You can treat them as general knowledge so that in case a question like that comes, you are not completely stumped. Arre, ye to padha nahi tha. At that time, you can remember, I had read book mein ye padha tha. That is what is our intention. So there would be say half a dozen questions like that, which you may technically think, ye hamare textbook mein nahi hai. so by implication, it is not meant to be in syllabus. Okay, though we have removed a lot during our proofreading sessions, we have removed a lot of those questions. Like I remember some cabinet mission uh, questions were added etc some round table questions were added some of them have been removed okay now uh, what we want you to do as far as these books is concerned is that make use of them in order to test yourself after you have finished your revision no point kind of doing it before you start with the chapter because then it's almost like a paper leak so treat it with the rest with the kind of uh, attention that it demands from you in the sense that use them almost like a paper that you are getting in the board examination. Time yourself ki okay, aapko kitna time laga us question paper ko solve karne mein. Then you test yourself with the answer key which has been provided. Okay, so uh, happy learning. I do hope that this particular book helps you indeed to fulfill this slogan. Ab har student 95 plus person marks laega. Okay, and this is a small contribution in your journey towards academic success. Happy learning. Be safe. Thank you very much for watching.